shop. And uh, what was it? Oh, there's a couple. Oh, but I can't see. It was a couple of days ago. Um, I was. What did we do last? Oh, we made the gearbox. We, well, I say med. We put the gearbox back together with the new bits in. Uh, or second hand, new old stock, let's call it that. It's not even new old stock, whatever. Any road. Um, so, I'm cleaning stuff up, blah, 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 blah. There's some other bits and pieces uh, to come. So, gearbox is back together. You fuck around, clean up the cases, and sort the cases out. That would be all good and gravy. Um, but I just thought I would take the time because this case needs this is the the clutch case. This case needs a lot of going over. But I thought I would take this opportunity, uh, you know, like I have done in various video series, is is is, and this series is is is, um, to talk about you know just yap on about some of the design features and the reasons why things are done and all the rest of it. Some people like it, some people don't. <laughs> I'm doing the videos, they're going up, you know what I mean. Um, well, actually I'm stockpiling a few of them, but anyway, that's not the point. The point I'm trying to make is that I am doing the videos. If you like it or not, tough titty. Any road, so... <laughs> I've just wasted a good half, well actually an hour, let's be honest. I've just wasted an hour trying to do something um, that I thought people might find interesting, but fuck it. So what you have on this side here, on the clutch cover, you can see there's an L and an F and two lines. It's actually an indentation, right? This is your uh, fluid level of 2,700 millilitres or 2.7 litres. That's how much oil goes in this. Um, I've got them both like this, that's just the transmission cover thing, don't worry about that for the second. Um, this is a bit of a different engine because it's a split line engine. Um, so usually your four cylinders, actually a lot of engines now, two cylinders, three cylinders, four cylinders, they will be um, split um, along the crank line. So where your crankshaft sits there will be a bottom and top casing. So a top and a bottom casing with your crankshaft wedged in between and the gearbox going wherever it goes, it changes from engine to engine. But that's usually the, the idea is it has a horizontal split. Um, this engine is, uh, and I've, I've quite a few V-twins like this, um, this engine is not, this is a vertical split, like a two-stroke, so you have two halves. Um, there's nothing more to say about that. It does give us some unique opportunities because um, this doesn't have a sump in the regular sense that it has a pan, a belly pan, or a sump, or you know anything. There's nothing. There's no additional space that can be bolted on or changed in size or whatever. In other words, it's part of the the clamshell, right? It's part of both halves, and clamshell is uh, uh, the the term for it. Um, for obvious reasons, clams, and yeah. So in a sense, the halves of the case, just like a, a well, four strokes are a bit different. Uh, two strokes are a bit different. A lot of one two fives and even some two fifty uh, cc four strokes have split line unit construction crankshafts and unit construction are where they're built out of bits. So it's, it's a crankshaft assembly um, instead of just a single forging or what have you. But any road, so we've got our fluid level, you know, up here when you fill it between the, the low and the full. As you can see, the mark is fuck all, right? What is that as a level? You know, you need a ruler or something. There we go, let's use that shit one. You need a ruler or something. And it's a eyeball about 12 mil. Now, obviously, that doesn't tell you a, a volume, you know what I mean, because you'd have to take a cross section the other way. The other way, any road, what I was fanning around doing was I was trying, <laughs> unsuccessfully, to make a split. Now, it's a bit shit, this is cloudy. Um, if I actually thought about this and really, really put some effort into it, I would have bought some Perspex and I would use some gasket sealer and so on and so forth. I tried to fill this with fluid and we'll see if we can get that like the, the glare off the light. I tried to put some fluid in this, it leaked. 
you know, obviously this is a bit of a really useful box lid. So it's a bit too flexible. I'd use some Perspex or something. Um, but if I get the camera angle right, and then add some light, oh god, it's not going to like it, is it? It's going to glare wherever I put it. Oh no. It's going to, let me just move the base. There we go. Should be able to get away with that. I don't know how well this is. Oh, what the fuck were you doing? Stupid fucking light. There. Right, so you can kind of see, you know, where the splits are, where the blah, 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 blah is. And that line there is the transfer from the other side. That is the fluid level line. Which makes sense. It's below this section of... Oh, I'll just go out. Oh, is that better? No, it's not better, is it? For fuck's sake. Have I got some kind of other light? I've got that backlight, but I don't really want to use. Oh, fuck it, we're doing that. I'm trying to hold it up as well. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Does that, is that better? No, it's none of it's better, is it? For fuck's sake. Andy, you're right about production value. Right, any road. There we go. So, um, all of this here will be submerged in oil. It's why I put the clutch cover on. I put the clutch cover on because the clutch cover sealed with its shitty old gasket on. Still got to clean that up. Um, but yeah, I put some silicon sealant around here. And I was going to try and fill it with some blue. Um, just water, because this is all aluminium casing, so it doesn't matter. I just wanted to put some blue... Um, food colouring in it so you could see it um, but yeah that is the level you'll also notice that the gearbox input and output shaft are up here the selector drum is out here so even when you wheelie it just say you are pretty much going to stop dunking the gearbox into the oil and then you know back down and when you if you rock up on the front kind of thing momentarily you're going to spill into the crankcase volume, which is actually not a good thing. But then saying that, if you're on the front wheel, you're going really slow, so it's not the end of the world. Um, but it is a problem. Or it could possibly be a problem, because this is wide open, right? There'll be a crank in here spinning around like a dickhead. The crank so much isn't the problem, you'll just feel a lot of drag. It's more to do with the actual the crank pin with the rods on. Um... But like I say, usually when you're if you're ever on the front wheel, you are you're off the throttle. You know what I mean? But you can see, just you know, just like I said, I wanted to a, a fluid version so we could tip it back. And yes, if I'd been more organised and if I'd got the right perspex and blah 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 blah, you know, knowing me, it'd probably turn up it'd be fucking bright green and you wouldn't be able to see the fucking oil in it or anything. But just to give you an idea, that is where the level is. Yeah, right across there. You can actually even see where the main feed pipe is in the back, just below the line. That's where the feed pipe is from the pump to the filter. So it gives you an idea. And like I said, this isn't filling up with fluid. This is looking, transferring that full empty gauge on the other side of the crankcase, uh, on the clutch cover, sorry. Just tra transferring its location over to this side but it's cool just to see you know like I said um, the pump doesn't matter because it's sealed off you know it's pulling from the bottom down here and uh, you know it's pulling up this channel here into there and then siphoned up in and then pushed out there's a transfer blah 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 because the thing is what we don't know which is a bit unfortunate we don't know that when this starts pumping and fills all these lines and fills the filter and sends oil all the way up to the head and blah blah blah. We don't actually show how much this drops. It drops out the window, but we can't really see how far. Um, you know what I mean? So you could. I've got a pen. I can get. Uh, you know, it, I, if I had to guess, I'd imagine it could possibly drop to about there. I imagine. You know, something like that. And I'm just looking. Just guessing, to be quite honest. I don't really know. I'd have to work out the volume of the crank and the uh, oil that's draining back 
and so on and so on and so on. There is a way you could, you, you know, you could kind of, you could drill a hole somewhere and have a dipstick of that up fucking or something mental or a camera and then you'd have a look at what you can see when you run the engine, stuff like that. But, you know, when you do start your engine stuff, a volume of oil, this is quite cool, should have done this years ago, <laughs> a volume of oil is drawn into the system. But yeah, the this is cool, you see, I can just go like that. So the oil is drawn up there. I might do this in the future for other things. And then it's pumped around the pump, and it travels down there, like that, and it comes out there to transfer to the other side of the cases. This is fucking awesome. <laughs> Should have done this ages ago. Any road, yes. Um, it's a failed attempt, and I didn't want to spend too long on it because, you know, I was thinking, oh, maybe I should buy some Perspex and do this video a bit more justice. But, ugh, I've, I've got to get on with it, and I've already wasted nearly an hour just fucking around doing this. Thinking about it, setting it up, getting this bit of plastic, fucking doing it, pouring some water in it, watching all that piss out, trying to seal it the best I could without getting all the silicon out and shit, because I didn't really want to go down that avenue. Any road, hope that makes sense. I'll see you in a bit.